Oh my God, I'm gonna guide you through the process of how I make my sensual salted caramel crevice. So that is a gloop of salted caramel, chocolate and marshmallows. And as the marshmallows melt down as they heat up, they combine together and then you add the cornflakes and they're gradually gonna stick. And then you just wanna keep adding more and more cornflakes until that mixture can take no cornflake no more. It is coming together, binding and golden and glorious. So now pour that into a tin. Please excuse my stuff in the background. I leave it to set a little bit. Next thing I'm gonna do is put the holes in the crevice. Then you have to gape these holes, make them deep. Start with just a finger in there, slowly work your way up to more. You can get two or three fingers in this if you're doing it right. Next, I'm gonna stuff that crevice full to the brim until it is oozing out with thick salted caramel. It's gone in the fridge so it's not too runny. If you have a really runny fluid going in, it's just gonna ooze out okay. everywhere, fall apart. You don't want that for your crevice. This is gonna wanna hold its shape. It needs to take a good pound in. <laughs> As that sets, I'm gonna mix some dark chocolate in with chocolate spread to form a nice layer that's gonna coat the crevices. What wouldn't you wanna lick off of a crevice than chocolate? It's gorgeous. That's gonna coat them and it's gonna go in the fridge to set. Spread it all over that crevice, leave no crevice uncovered. Then I'm slicing these crevices up into equal pieces. There are nice cubes of crevice. Wait until you see the undercarriage of this gooey, oozy crevice. Here it is like before we cut into the middle bit. Basically when you get them, you get like a whole crevice. You can cut into your crevice. You can lick your crevice out and get that salty fluid from the middle. Oh, gorgeous. Oh. 